<laughs> Had to do it. No fine. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm coming to you from Baltimore, Maryland. And this is a location I was actually at back in 2019. This is known as the Baltimore Streetcar and Trolley Museum. Behind me here, you can actually see some of them sitting on the line. And today is an event known as Logan's Birthday Bash. Logan is someone who is involved with the Baltimore Streetcar Museum. And he's putting this event on to raise money for restoration of the streetcars. And what it consists of is you pay $25, you get an official badge, and you can actually operate the street cars on this line. It actually does a loop down there. And they're gonna have four to five cars running today. And myself, Matt and RJ were back here in 2019. We did it and we we're like, this is the greatest thing ever. You get to actually operate, you know, as many times as you want, all these different cars. And I hear a train. But with that being said, the three of us are back here again today. So myself, Matt and RJ are going to be operating trolley. So I'm gonna be giving you, you know, first person view on my chest. I'm gonna give you some exterior shots. Maybe even some drone footage as well. We'll see what happens. But it's going to be a really hot, sweltering day. But despite that, it's going to be a really fun day as well. So I invite you to come along with me as we drive some trolleys and streetcars here at the Baltimore Streetcar and Trolley Museum.
make it. There's one set of wheels that's going to get you. There you go, we made it, okay? One click and then another click. Okay, that's as fast as it'll go. Okay. And you're, you're good. Awesome. All right. Keep that foot pinned down. Set to go straight. You can see the flange joy. Mm -hmm. This is also a spring. And here's another switch to stop that. I'm going to be the 
He's got to look at me. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. All right, so now I get a chance to operate a car that I've been waiting to operate all day. That is a sweeper car. RJ just had his turn. I'm going to be next. And the special thing about this one actually has an air whistle. So, the way this works is you roll and then you won't wait until you see all the piston come out. That's hold. So whatever you put in and go back there, that's going to hold that in the system. Okay. So you still at that weight. Gotcha. So if you want to keep taking more, you just go like that and then go back. Or you can just throw it in. And then one point. Huh? <laughs> it's all or nothing with me. <laughs> Two point.
grab home. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> Break off two two. As you guys may have seen, uh, that sweeper car, I was just operating it and RJ was before me. That was a really fun car to operate and that's more of a, more of a tank than anything else. It's big and heavy and, and powerful and the air whistle was pretty awesome. I did a, the train signal horn at the one crossing. Before I go any further though, first I want to give a big special shout out to Logan. Today was his birthday bash and he did personally invite us to come out. So thank you, Logan, for inviting us. We had a great time. He was also my instructor on the sweeper car and he taught me things that other instructors don't always teach. He, things that he learned and is able to pass down to others. So Logan, you know, great job on today's event. With that being said, uh, we spent all day here. It's just after four o'clock now. It's sweltering hot it's in the 90s, it's humid. And we've been trying our best just to kind of stay cool in the air conditioning down some water. Now the event did kind of not start according to plan. It started at 10 a.m. But it didn't actually kick off until closer to 11. That's because when the crew arrived, they found that there was a downed tree over the line. And they had to clear that off and make a repair to the overhead cables. So before any cars were able to operate, that had to get taken care of first. So there was an hour delay, but they actually are running a little bit later than normal today because of that. With that being said, I did operate two. Uh, street cars including these the sweeper would have loved to have done more but there was a lot of people here today and people were waiting in line to operate them i didn't want to you know take away from them in case it was their first time i mean this is my second time here i just had fun attending the event showing my support spreading the word on their restoration project and capturing some footage of the others operating as well as mentioned this is my second time here so if you want to see the 2019 event that will be linked down below as well as rj's channel and a link to their website for the Baltimore Streetcar Museum because they do this a couple times a year. So if you ever want to come here and operate these streetcars, you're able to do so. A $25 fee gets you all day access to the grounds. You can learn about the trolleys, operate the trolleys, and just have a great day here in a historic part of the city and operate some historic pieces of equipment. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. 
Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you real soon in the next video.